Hey everybody, I'm Eric, and today I watched Your The Hunter from the Future. This film is directed by Antonio Margheriti, and it stars Reb Brown as the titular hero character, Your. He's, he, he's strong, he barely wears any clothes, and he saves the day time after time. We start the film off. We meet some cave people. They're having a rough time surviving in caves, hunting after little animals, having to maintain their wigs. And this guy, Yor, comes along and saves them from a stegosopolitops. Tristegotopolips. It's a triceratops stegosaurus. I thought it was just a, st a triceratops, but apparently it's, it's a crossbreed. And this isn't some claymation junk. We have an actual dinosaur. 20 years before Jurassic Park. T 10 years before Jurassic Park. We have a, a full-size Triceratops Stegosaurus attacking people. And it's fantastic because it's, it's bloody. And afterwards, when Yor has killed this monster, he drinks its blood, and it's amazing. Anyway, I showed you this cover, which is the slip cover on the newly released Blu-ray, which is very good, especially it's brand new. And from Amazon, I got it for $7. Oh, this is the slip cover. This is the standard cover on the regular um, case and look inside. Very simple disc design, but I like that. I like that a lot because it's, and they utilize the O, the O is the, the O. The O is the hole, that's, that's amazing. More film, I mean, not a whole lot of films have a three letter title and the middle letter is an O. I could think of, um, Previously, you could only get this on home video in disc form from the Sony Pictures print on demand, video on demand. Like they 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 burnt the DVD for you when you ordered it. Now now we got an actual Blu-ray release and it has an audio commentary track from Reb Brown. The original comic book is just called You're the Hunter. Uh, so this title makes you think that this guy is. Maybe not when it first came out, because when it first came out, Terminator had not come out yet. That this fella is sent back from the future Terminator style to save these uh, poor cave people. But we find out that this whole everybody is from the future. So the, the title is correct. He is from our future, but he's still in the future. There's no time travel involved. And... Uh, we have this nuclear holocaust has d ravaged the world and we're left, uh, all technology is destroyed, etc. But we do have a small section of humanity that still has this technology led by the Overlord who is played by John Steiner. And he's as good of a, 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 a science fiction fantasy villain as you can get. He reminds me a lot of the Emperor, but more whimsical. He looks more like, even more like a wizard. He's got the robe, but the robe has some accents on it, some some uh, nice little designs, all that. And he has an army of. Okay, this might be explained in the movie, but I missed it. I wasn't exactly sure if all of his soldiers were robots or modified humans maybe they're mutants but he talked very thoroughly about how he was going to alter your by modifying his brain and reprogramming him until he was completely new that seems like a lot of work i think it would probably be easier at that point just to make a robot person but may maybe not one of the things I love about lower budget films from this time period is the extensive use of wide angle lenses with handheld cameras. It gives it sort of a run and gun 
feel to it. Not that there wasn't preparation. There is a ton of preparation that's apparent with the, the giant dinosaurs, all the costumes, uh, effects, uh, explosions and fires and all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, it seems like this is our only chance to get this shot. So hopefully it goes as well as possible. And if not, we kind of just have to use that and we're just going to keep going. There's a scene where stuff, uh, I think Yor jumps off a cliff or something or whatever. But before that, he kills a moth, like a gigantic moth that we don't see it in context with an, uh, a human for at first. But after he shoots it with an arrow, he uses it as a hang glider. What? It's all kinds of mutant animals. All kinds of mutant animals. In a way, this film could take place in the same world as Noah, starring Russell Crowe. I, rec I recommend that film. I, I like it a lot. Overall, this film is a whole lot of fun. This particular release of it, it's the only release of it that I've encountered, but it's very high quality. The picture is great. Sound quality is great. By the way, let's talk about that theme song for a second. It's excellent. It's so good. So, so good. Okay, done talking about that. Pick it up. If it's still less than $8 on Amazon, why not? By the way, I am also very excited to watch Captain America and Captain America 2, Death Too Soon, starring Reb Brown as Steve Rogers slash Captain America. It mentions your right on the back of this DVD. You know what movie they mention on the back of your? That's right, Captain America. So these, these two films are linked together by fate and by Reb Brown primarily. So you gotta, you gotta get, if you can get a copy of this also, I haven't watched this yet. So I don't know if it's any good. Let me know your thoughts on your by tweeting me at TIW podcast or in the comments below. Stay tuned for more reviews of crazy, weird movies and maybe some normal ones too.